What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Before we get started with today's video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. I'll leave them somewhere up here and there's also links in the description below. So here we got my 2021 Ram TRX that I recently purchased. This is the second day with the Ram and today I'm basically going to walk you guys through it and just give you guys a tour of it and a mini review. So this is my second Ram that I've owned. I owned a regular uh, 2019 Ram Laramie. It's more of like a luxury truck. It had 22s and really, really low profile tires. It was more of a cruiser and something I could just drive around town. I also used it for towing. It did pretty good. But then I got this now and this thing is, you know, totally different than what I had before. I mean, you know, this thing is super high up in the air. It's super wide. It has these small 15 inch wheels and then just check out those tires. I mean, look at those huge tires. It, this thing is like a monster truck. I mean, its presence is insane. The camera doesn't capture the aura of this truck as if it was in, you know, real life. Like in person, when you see this, you're like, okay, this isn't a regular vehicle. Like, what the f is this? It says Ram in the front, but then you're like, hold up. I've never seen this. It's, it's huge and very high up in the air, and I absolutely love it. So one thing about this truck is that it has lights everywhere. So obviously has headlights just like every other car, but it also has one, two, three lights right there. You come down here, you have your little fog lights, you have a light right there, and then you come to the other side, you also have another light on the bumper, and then we move to the back, you have a light right there, you have three lights right here, you obviously have your license plate lights, and then you also have another one on the bumper. So the main reason this truck has all those lights, especially the ones on the bumper, is because, and I'm just guessing over here, is because this truck is so wide and so big, kind of like a semi truck, that it needs all those lights to let other drivers know that this truck is coming through. It made sense in my head, but if you guys actually know the main reason or the exact reason that they have the lights all over this truck, then let me know in the comments below. So now let's talk about the wheel and tire setup. You have Goodyear's all around, 325, 65, 18. The wheels are pretty nice. They're satin black, nothing crazy. I mean, I didn't end up getting the bead locks because the bead locks are silver and black. And while the all black wheels kind of fit this truck a lot more than you know, the beadlocks, the silver just wasn't gonna fit anywhere on this truck. There's nothing silver on this truck, so it would've kind of threw off the look. So one thing you're gonna notice throughout this truck is that there are vents everywhere, some functional and some not. So right at the headlights, you have this vent, and it is functional. I don't know what it's exactly for, but I think it's just for air to go through the truck. And the air goes through there and comes out of here, so this is functional as well. And then on the tail lights, you have this fake vent. Not functional at all, I think it's just for looks, and it actually looks pretty nice. And then on the front, you have this huge vent. This is totally functional, and it basically delivers air to the intake. And you also have these two vents, they're huge, and they go all the way to the end of the hood. I don't know if they're functional because snow is covering them and I can't really tell if they are, but they're there. And as we open the hood, if you can find it, you kinda gotta dig deep down inside, all the way in there, it's tucked in there, you will find a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with a 2.4 liter supercharger, pretty much the exact motor and supercharger found in a Hellcat because I mean, this thing is a Hellcat truck, right? Another cool detail you will find under this cover right here, which you could just pop up like, like this. All right, so also says TRX on there as we move that. Here we have the big ass intake, and then here got air coming through the vent like I told you in there. And then here you have a T-Rex eating a Raptor, and that's pretty much shade to forward because they make some slow ass trucks. So as we close the hood, I'm gonna run down a couple cool numbers about this truck. So just last week, a magazine was able to get their hands on this truck and they ran a zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Did you hear me right? I said 3.7 seconds in an off-roading truck. 
with these big ass tires. As wide as it is, as heavy as it is, 3.7, that is faster than a lot of sport cars out there. It's faster than a Mustang 0-60, to it's faster than a Camaro 0-60, to and we're talking about a huge truck. Let's talk about quarter mile times now. The fastest I was able to see was a 12.3 and a quarter which is pretty fast. I think they could, you know, do a lot better because, you know, some of these people aren't professional drivers. They're just random people at a magazine that drive them. So 12.3, even though 12.3 doesn't sound that fast to you, we're still talking about a truck. So let me remind you guys of a few sports cars that run a 12.3 or close to it. A new Mustang GT, a Charger 392 Scat Pack, a Camaro SS. All those cars run in that low 12s and guess who is next to them running this truck an off-roading truck is running along side mustangs and camaros and scat packs who would have knew but ram definitely made it happen and this truck also has a super crazy suspension setup i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know what i'm talking about but it's there and uh, you could do your research if you want to learn more the trx also has the ram bar which is basically a bar for the ram it's pretty simple <laughs> it's it's a metal yeah it's metal and then up there you can attach lights they already have the holes for them so that's pretty cool that it's all ready to go you just slap on some lights and you're ready to go so as we move to the back of the truck you have three different badges you have the trx badge you have the huge ram badge just to let everyone know that you are in a ram and then you also have the 4x4 right there the coolest part about this truck from behind is that it has these five inch exhaust tips probably some of the biggest tips i've seen on a truck especially like a stock truck so five inch tips are huge the only thing is they're not really like leveled they're kind of just hanging down which i don't like i'll probably have to fix that so you also have this step right here on the driver's side of the truck which you can use to get up on it and uh i don't know take your tools out of the truck or i don't know what you would use it for besides uh trying to get on the bed so that's pretty cool and then you just kind of shove it in there and it goes in there that's pretty cool i definitely like that i don't know if i'm gonna be using it that much but it's there you know because the truck is so high up in the air and if you're short you know you definitely are gonna have to use that unless you bring your own ladder but that's kind of doing too much so another thing you can use to step on is these side steps and when you open the door they don't come down they're pretty small you can pretty much fit about two toes on there and that's about the only thing that you have to elevate you to get in the truck so i don't know why uh they have this but i think i have another assumption to why they have it and i think it's because when you take it off roading you don't want steps that go up and down and you also want these because it keeps you know the rocks from hitting you know this part of your car or damaging your truck so i don't know that's another assumption i made but they're there if you know exactly why they're there let me know in the comments below some people didn't get this and some people did and well this truck was fully loaded so i pretty much got everything besides the spare tire mount that is installed in the bed i kind of didn't want that because it would have kind of taken so much space from the bed and then the bed would be pretty much useless don't get it messed up we still have a full spare tire it's just under the truck so now we're gonna move on to the interior if you thought this truck was cool from the outside wait until until you see the interior my favorite part about this truck so as soon as you open it up you are greeted by leather alcantara real carbon fiber some more leather red stitching these beautiful harman kardon speakers some of the best speakers out there they're like mesh not some plastic garbage a lot of quality went into this also this is like a black chrome cool little detail and then right here you got these beautiful leather and alcantara seats i got the package that has uh, pretty much red accents all over it it only made sense to do it with a red truck so here you have the red trx you have red coming down here leather little inserts right here that are suede so that's pretty cool heated and cooled by the way i just want to let you guys know that and then just check out the steering wheel beautiful leather and alcantara 
steering wheel with red stitching and a flat bottom and then you have a touch of carbon fiber right here. Super awesome steering wheel but check out my favorite part about this. Look at these paddle shifters. Huge metal paddle shifters. Not some plastic garbage. It goes up here and then you can also reach to it down here. So both of them pretty much control the paddle shifters. That's awesome and then here you got some more leather. You got carbon fiber going down the entire way. Let's step in here. Like I told you guys it's a tiny step but let's get in here. So here we are. Let's close the door because it's getting a little cold. So again, the entire dash is leather. You have red stitching everywhere because it's part of the red accent package. And then you also have carbon fiber here, carbon fiber right there, it says TRX right there. And then you also have your shifter right here. So if you guys remember, you know, the previous generation, well, I don't wanna say previous generation, but all the regular Rams have their shifter right here. It's like a freaking volume controller, but they took it away from here and put it here. So you have PD and D, you know, S sport mode. So that's pretty cool. It's leather, red stitching. And then here's also another thing that I love. This whole thing is Alcantara. You have leather right here, red stitching. You have a plaque that says, you know, what kind of truck it is, your VIN number, a metal plaque. That's pretty cool. As we open it up, you got my keys, a little bit of storage. Let's close this thing up. You got a little bit more storage. If you guys remember in the other regular Rams, not the TRX, this center console used to move back and forth. And well, now it doesn't because you have the shifter right here. You have cup holders right here. Let me show you guys this right here. You close it, you have carbon fiber. Pretty cool, I like the carbon fiber pattern they put in here. And then here you have, you know, room for change. You can put your quarters right here. And then you also have a plug right there. So down here, you also have a few charging ports. You have, I don't know what this is. You can put your credit card or wallet maybe. Let's try my wallet. Put a little wallet right here, that's pretty cool. And then also here you have a little wireless charging area. So you just slide your iPhone in there and then this light turns blue and then it starts charging. So now I believe it's time to turn it on. You come over here, you have the red start button. You click that, boom. This thing is so loud guys. I'm gonna show you guys the exhaust in just a second. But let's talk about a few things right here. So here you have the TRX right here. So everything in here has different font than any other RAM. The font is a lot sportier. It's more, I don't know, nice. I don't know how to exactly say it, but it's there. Different font, a lot of stuff is different. So I dig it. So let's talk about a few things here in the menu. You have your vehicle info, you have your off-road drive train, and then you have pitch and roll. And then you have your performance. Let's see, what do you got here? Yeah, all your cool stuff here. And then you got your driver assist. Fuel economy is garbage. I mean, this is me driving under 3,000 RPMs and absolutely not getting on it whatsoever. And I'm averaging 9.6. Absolutely horrible. So here you got your trip info, trailer tow. So I got the trailer package in here. So I got all that. You also got this for trailer steering. So this was part of the towing package that I got. It was a must need package because I tow my cars. So coming back here, you also got audio and then you got messages and settings and this and back to speedometer. Now let's talk infotainment system. So you have this big iPad right here. I believe it's a 12 inch screen. You have your media, you have your controls. Oh. You have your controls right here, you have your heated seats, vented seats, heated wheel, you have your mirror dimmer, backup camera right here, and then you have your surround camera, basically I have the top view, you have this, I think that's the back again, and then you also have the front, you have two different fronts, and then you have your little trailer one for your trailer hook right there, and then let's get out of here, and then you go to climate. You know what this is. You got, let's go to nav. Well, you know what nav is. Backup camera again. Let's get out of here and then uh, let's come to apps. So apps, you have your travel link. So basically fuel prices, movie listings, sports, weather, all the type of shit. 
you probably aren't going to use in a truck is in here. So that's just cool to have, but I don't know if anyone's going to check if the Pistons or the Lakers won on here, but it'd be cool if you check or if you're taking a girl out on a date, you could definitely check, you know, if the movie's playing at a certain time, you could show off to her that your truck can do that. So that's pretty cool to just have it there. And then we come over here and then here you have TRX as mode. And then here you have all your off-roading modes. I don't know too much about them. You have your launch uh, button right here, but we click this and then you have this right here. So what you see in front of you is basically all the different modes in this truck. You have sport, tow, snow, auto, custom, mud, uh, slash sand, rock, Baja, Baja, I believe it's for sand. So when you click the different buttons, you could control them here or you could also click here. And that basically changes them as you guys can see right there. So as you're changing them through here, watch what happens here. So the screen changes to different pictures. So mud, rock, Baja, sport, tow, snow, and auto. Another cool feature on this truck is that here is your rear view mirror. And then you click this and bam, it turns into a camera. You click this. You go here, you could make it brighter, less bright, and then you come here, you could move it up and down, or we can move it down, so that's pretty cool. Definitely like that, this is something new that FCA did. You also have heads up display, which I don't know if you guys can see, but it's right there. I gotta make the light a little brighter, but that's definitely a cool touch that FCA has never done before. All right, so we're done with that. Let's check out the back seat. Although you have a huge truck that you could off-road and beat Mustangs on the road, you can also take it on a road trip because you have an insane amount of legroom. I mean, just look how far back I am sitting. And then you can, I mean, look at this. It's literally a bedroom. You can bring your side chick here if you're not old enough to get a hotel room. So that's pretty cool. And the cool thing is these seats also recline. So I gotta be strong enough, let me, let me, bam. So as you can see, they recline and then you could recline up back. So that's pretty cool. Again, you have more of the leather, red stitching, carbon fiber, you know, everything is here. You also have heated seats and cooled, not just heated, heated and cooled all right here. And then you have a little plug right there, two cup holders. Uh, let's get on here, it's a bit of a step. And then also have this, comes down. Alcantara, red stitching, cup holders, let's close that. And then also, let's not forget, you have this huge panoramic sunroof that pretty much brings all the sunlight in the world in this truck while you are on a road trip. So let's close that up. I think the final thing we gotta do is, well, two things we gotta do. We're gonna turn it on and then take it for a quick drive and uh, just, talk to you guys about how it drives and all the cool options that I was able to order. So here we got the keys to the truck and uh, you turn it around and it says TRX right here. This isn't a cold start because I've been driving it all day so it's not going to be as loud as it would be if it's a cold start but I think it's still going to impress you guys. So unfortunately, I cannot rev it for you guys because I'm trying to keep it under a certain amount of RPMs while I'm still breaking it in, but I'm sure I will be able to very, very soon. I've been trying to drive it as much as I can just so I could get the 500 miles so I could break it in and get an oil change and then we can pretty much launch it and have all sorts of fun with the truck. So before we go on this drive, I got the window sticker right here and I'm going to read you guys a few of the options that I got. This thing is pretty load it up so grab some popcorn and let's get going so the base price of this truck is sixty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty five dollars clever number ram so i got the technology group that's uh eleven hundred dollars so that has the heads up display the mirror with the camera the led center high mounted stop lamp i don't know what that is for 200 bucks, I have the trailer tow group, um, the advanced safety group for a thousand, the bed utility group for $845, the lower two-tone paint for $250. I don't remember ordering that, but basically the truck is two-tone. So the bottom 
not half, the bottom quarter of the truck is painted black. So that's pretty cool. Um, I got the TRX carbon fiber package. That's 1300, that's all the carbon fiber you see in here. And then also I got the TRX level two equipped group for, damn. Definitely don't want my accountant to see this. What the? $7,900 for leather trimmed bucket seats, uh, ventilated front seats, all this other bullshit. Just, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to read. I'm not going to sit here and read all of it, but it's like an eight way power driver and passenger seats, um, LED ambient light Ooh, piping. I didn't know that was in here. That's news. Okay. So all sort of with that $7,900 that definitely hit my bank account pretty hard. So we also have the red uh, interior accents. That's what you see right here. That's uh, $1,500. You have the dual pan uh, panoramic sunroof. That's over here. That was uh, $1,500. You have the TRX uh, exterior graphics by Mopar. All the stickers that lets you know that it's a TRX. That's 500 bucks. You have the rock uh, rails. Um, I think that's the, the little bullshit side steps for your toes. That was uh, $895. You have the 19 speaker Harman Kardon premium sound, which is, you know, the best, you know, speakers you can get. That was uh, $1,100. Holy moly, that was expensive. You have the trailer reverse steering control, which I told you I got. That was 500 bucks. And then you have the Ram bar for $1,900. And then you have a destinational charge. And that brings us to a final price of $93,245 before tax. Um, if you're my accountant and you're watching this, um, this is my sugar mama's car. So anyways, that was basically before tax then at 6% tax because we're in Michigan and then you have a final price of, I think, pretty close to $100,000. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very expensive truck, but I, I definitely think it's worth it. And, and I'm not just saying that. I, I really think it's worth it. So um, enough of talking about the numbers because uh, it's gonna make me sad. Alrighty, so we are in the TRX right now. And again, I'm still breaking it in. I just wanna remind you guys so I can't do any pulls because I know everyone's gonna ask, yo, why didn't you do any pulls? You're a loser, you suck, you're scared of the truck, blah, blah, blah. But no, I'm still breaking it in, so I will definitely have a video where I do a bunch of pulls and launches and all sort of <laughs> So, I'm gonna give you guys my first impression. I'm gonna try to keep this short. I don't wanna be sitting in here talking for hours and hours. So, the truck is huge. It's very wide, it's very tall, and it's like a monster truck. Like, I, I, I. I've never owned anything like this, so I am definitely excited to be in here. You could hear, listen. You could hear that supercharger. The camera might not pick it up, but you could definitely hear it because it's 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 in there. It's in there, I think. It's under the hood. I, you know, if you look hard enough, the supercharger is in there. So, anyways, um, yeah, I mean this thing is uh an off-roading vehicle super luxurious literally this is like the rolls of you know pickup trucks it doesn't get any better than this the raptors have nothing on this truck and they never did and they never will and let's just be honest with each other why lie why lie and say raptor is going to come out with something that's going to with this they're not they just got all your hopes up and all you ford fanboys i was once a ford fanboy okay i love you guys but you guys really think that they're going to come out with something that's going to with this the interior of this alone, Ford will never be on their level. No disrespect. I love Ford. But I'm just being honest over here, okay? I'm just being honest. So anyways, this thing rides so smooth. Like, for an off-roading vehicle that has these big-ass tires and it's wide, it rides like a f***ing Rolls-Royce. If there was a Rolls-Royce pickup truck, it would be this. Like, honestly, I'm not even just saying that, guys. Like, I cannot believe they made a truck that rides this smooth. Like the amount of research that went into this is only God knows because they definitely did their homework and they definitely gave you a 
full truck. Like they did not cut any corners. The outside is beautiful. The inside is beautiful. The ride is amazing. You know, the performance is there. It's off-roading capabilities. Everything is in here. And that's why I tell you guys, this might be my favorite vehicle that I've owned. And I've only driven it for 204 miles. So overall, this thing is amazing. I can't tell you guys too much about it just because I only driven it for 200 miles all i can tell you is that it seems quick i haven't been able to get on it listen you hear that violin raptor only wishes pop the hood but anyways uh i'm done messing around um yeah this thing is amazing and if you have the chance to get one you definitely definitely should get one because you're not gonna find a truck with a total package like this one it has it all it's like finding a girl with some nice uh-huh and a nice bottom like it, you rarely get that and also you get a cool personality and she's funny it rarely ha actually it never happens so to have a truck that has all those cool things in one is amazing <laughs>